Welcome to Captain TV Newsroom from our studios in Abuja. I am Victoria Agbe. The news and details. Inventions to aid community development have been deemed insufficient as residents and heads of some communities in the federal corporate territory have decried no government attention in providing social amenities in their communities. Now, in an interview with resident heads and government officials in some community, Captain TV Benedict Oko compiled some neglected community development initiatives that require government attention. The residents of Idu and Durumi community have drawn the attention of the government to some of their neglected community development initiatives. Following a trip to the government secondary school Idu Koro community in the federal capital territory Abuja, the principal of the school lamented poor infrastructure as a major threat to security. For this environment, the government still need more to do. And so stakeholders have it's a green area for stakeholders to also come and contribute to their quota the community is doing a lot the government is doing a lot but as you can see a lot needs to be done too in the in many areas school <laughs> school has so many uh, aspects that even individuals can step in there are children here who are even breadwinners in their homes they are there are no parents and they stand in to train themselves and train their junior ones the representative of the head of the community, Dan Lam Danjuma, spoke about the same issue as he called on the Federal Capital Territory Administration to come to their rescue. If you look at the environment, the school is a bit large. We have a modern toilet facility, toilet facility built by MBC. We have a block of three classrooms built by the community too, which we use as a chemist laboratory physics and biology we have a water system water system not borehole which the, the the school brought to the children the only thing outstanding for us now is the fencing of the school that is what is at our forefront now the fencing of the school to make the children more safe based on the recent uh, happenings within the country in general security challenges that is the only thing we are like now fencing of the school and then more classrooms to be built so that we can reduce the number of children per classes i think everybody's tired of saying the same thing because i don't think you need a town hall meeting for you to know that you need to fix the educational problem in Nigeria. And it's not just in the secondary school or in the primary school. It's even trickles to the ter tertiary institution. Look around you. This community is hugely dilapidated. This is a school with no fence. How, how difficult is it to get the right things done? We are hugely blessed as a nation. I think it is high time our leaders rise up to the occasion and do what's right. Not just for today, but for our children are born. Please please fix the educational system a lot of us are beginning to lose hope in this country just please do the right thing a trip to the idp camp in durami community also revealed deplorable conditions of health care water dilapidated schools in the camp the community health practitioner grace maikano who spoke on the state of health care system also called on the government for intervention they enjoy when they will buy drugs but as you can see when there is no drugs except if people individual buy or any NGO. There is no help from any government or anything. Like now people wanted to come in because they are not feeling fine, but there is no drugs. No drugs to give to them. That is one of the challenges. No equipment, let me just say so. If you want to you want to clean the the facility, no homo, no period, no jig, all these things which needed to be available for easy access to be able to use it and now presently now if you enter the clinic no drugs no even my labor room nothing nothing i delivered three women yesterday the day before yesterday three women i deliver you understand and it's my it's my personal money i buy something i help them the one way they get they get the one way they get a new buyer i help them with this so no anything from government about this people, organization, NGOs, all those one individual The special assistant to the Speaker, Humanitarian Affairs Office, Hamza Ibrahim Baba, spoke about alternatives as he called on the body in charge for intervention. The gaps are so many. 
we have gaps in the issues of uh, the education of these uh, children you have seen. We have uh, the issues of health care, we have sanitation and hygiene. We have issues of uh, even the shelter. You can see they are living in a very dilapidated and very unhygienic uh, shelter. Come to the aid of these people. There's so many things to do. There's so many things to do in the issues of the water, provision of water and sanitation. Uh, so many things to do on the, even the nutritional issues. They need some nutrition. If you see some of the children are malnourished and what I do. You know, there are a lot of constituency projects going on. There are a lot of well many individuals. Even the National Commission of Refugees, Migrants and IDPs, they are doing their best, you know. Uh, you know, teaching these people, equipping them with some kids so that they can support their livelihoods. Following the outcry, many continue to call for the government's attention in providing social amenities in their communities.